Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. You're joining me and Sarah here in Battersea Park. The birds are cheeping behind us. There's a little bit more green on the trees. The flowers are coming out. Spring is here. London Marathon is nearly here as well. When you're watching this, it's going to be just two weeks to go. Right here, right now, it's about two and a half weeks to go. Uh, we're here on Thursday. Got a big session to do. Probably my last solid sort of effort long run. 22k coming up today. And you had lots to chat about London Marathon. And our next thing after that, which will be comrades as well. So sit back, relax. Really looking forward to this one. I'm going to go and get my warm-up done and then we'll have a chat about the session then. Hope you guys are well and your train is going well. Let's get this video done. Right guys, 5k warm-up. Let's go. So I've just done about 2.8k warming up there. Got another 2.2. Just going to take my top off and uh, not like that. I have got a top on underneath. Oh, how's this going to work? I can't see where I'm going. There we go. Hello again. I have my uh, aggressive haircut. A little bit more aero on the sides there for London. I might need to have it trimmed again before the race. Anyway, today's session, as I'm getting trapped in my long sleeve, is 5k warm-up, 5k marathon pace, then uh, 3k easy, 3k marathon pace, 2k easy, 2k marathon pace, 1k easy, 1k marathon pace. But we will be getting a little bit, I say marathon pace, because at this stage of the thing, you just don't want to take any risks. So I'll probably go to more like half marathon pace here on those shorter ones. We'll see. A lot of my training is on feel. As a lot of you guys know, I don't have a heart rate monitor on. I haven't trained with heart rate for about three years. A lot of it's on feel. I just find way more, just find it so much better being way more in tune with our body, what's going on, how I'm feeling each day and training like that rather than what some device says. But it does work very well for a lot of people. So I'm not saying do one or the other. So it's just on her session. Some faster reps getting ready for London Marathon. Yep. In her speed, sockety <laughs> speeds. I'm not running London on these. No. Got some new shoes. Yes. Been uh, quite a mission to find new shoes for Sarah. She doesn't like any of the new new ones. So at the moment she's going for some Vaporfly Next Percent ones. <laughs> have <laughs> been uh, in the back of the Pro Direct warehouse, I think, for the last two or three years. Let's get, let's get going. The next time you see us, we'll be rolling into the first rep. About two more K warm up today. If anyone ever wonders why Ben's moving time and elapsed time are so different, it's because he spends all his time going to the loo. At my age? <laughs> The bladder is not as strong as it used to be. All the bowels. <laughs> oh, she needs a little again. Nervous. <laughs> nervous energy. A lot of people think these videos are just so easy, just go for a run and film it. I get so, so worried about this type of stuff. For now, it's about doing 5k about marathon pace, which I probably didn't say, so about 340k. Sarah, so whack the miles up on the screen. So what marathon pace is that? Two what? Probably like, I don't even know, like 2.37, okay. 2.38. Have you started? <laughs> no, Sarah. <laughs> Sorry, my easy pace just seems like your 5k pace. Well, it is. Right, let's go. Or maybe your marathon pace just looks so slow. Pace thing on here. Oh. Just get all over the place. I'm having a moan, guys, because Garmin had this update now on the workout screen. It has live pace and not lap pace. And I just can't get rid of it. It's well annoying. Whoever needs live pace? Stupid. Marathon pace, I don't think it ever feels easy when you do it in a training block. You're just not. Now, I've done 100k in the four days leading into this. 
I'm not going to do 100k in the four days before the marathon. A lot of people get worried, like it feels hard. It's just when you're training. Marathon training is tough, building all those weeks. But I've got a two week taper coming up. Can't wait. At least we're going to feel fresh uh, on race day. Nice. Right, 5k there, guys. I think that was 337 or 338. Pace for that one. We'll put the stats up on the screen straight into 3k jog. A lot of people ask about pacing in the marathon and using their GPS and yeah most GPS watches are going to get the marathon about like two three four hundred meters over so you do have to go a little bit faster than your goal pace on your watch so if I'm thinking 240 for the marathon is 345 pace that's kind of why I'm practicing what my watch saying about three forces because you're going to have to go a little bit faster than that because when my watch is 42.2k I'm probably going to have about 300 meters to go and it's not going to be very good then especially in London a lot of the majors tall buildings interfere with it all a bit so if you are relying on your watch go to practice just that little bit faster right I'm going to enjoy my 3k uh, chill and we'll see you for 3k on in a bit right guys here we go rep number two 3k just a smidge faster, but basically the same thing as before. What, like 3.30? No. Whew. 3.35 for that one. So two seconds. Quick walk. We've got 2k recovery now before going to 2k again. Oh, he's obviously going fast. All right, let's jog. See, we've got London Marathon in a couple of weeks. We've got a shakeout run on the Saturday. If anyone wants to come down, say hello. Say hello to me and Sarah. We'll both be there in Charlton at Charlton Park Run. There's a blog post. We'll link to it in the pinned comment in the description. And then, after London, we're going to get ready for... Co oh, excuse me. Just had a gel. Excuse me. Just had a high five gel. Um, and yeah, then getting ready for Comrades, which will be coming up in the middle part of June. So, yeah, excited about that. We haven't actually booked anything yet. The prices are quite high, but uh, we should be there. So, uh, yeah, looking forward to doing park run in Durban, uh, North Beach Park Run in Durban, and then obviously comrades on the Sunday with a load of you guys down there. Can't wait. Right, I'm gonna chill for the rest of this 2K, and we'll see you for 2K on. All right, guys, I'm starting this rep now. We're gonna get through this. 2K, let's get this done. Okay, done. About right. About 329. So I don't know. GPS is generally a bit funny today. 1K easy, 1K fast to finish. Let's get this session done. Time for the final rep. Looking forward to this one. I bring the legs up. Right guys, there we go, workout ended. Not sure of the pace of that final one. The watch, it's been funny today. I don't know what it's all about. So, it's all about not relying on devices, just getting out and giving it a good thrash. Doing some hard work, running fast, running slow, recovering, and yeah, just enjoying running at the end of the day. Right, I'm gonna get cooled down. I'll we'll catch up back in the car in a minute. Hope you enjoyed that one, guys, and your running is going all right. You're getting your sessions done. And your easy runs, your long runs, your cover runs, and having fun with it. Two and a half weeks to London, we can do this. All right guys, we're just driving over Tower Bridge in the centre of London now, because I'm just gonna call in at, go and see Scott, my physio, 
um, to get some shockwave on my poor old hamstring. Visualizing what it's gonna be like running over here halfway through the marathon um, in two and a half weeks time. This is just the most incredible part of any marathon course anywhere in the world, I think. For 45 odd thousand people gonna be going through here, it's gonna be this amazing experience. Cannot wait to uh, be part of all of that. Yeah, but for now, it started raining again. <laughs> Welcome to London. But yeah, we're just gonna grab some food and go in and see Scott very shortly. Just come out of seeing Scott for some shockwave therapy. <laughs> I've had this like high hamstring tendon off it. I can run through it absolutely fine. Um, just trying to finish it off uh, with some shockwave therapy and just get it over the line. Right, that's it guys. Me and Sarah are starving, gonna go get some food and hopefully see a lot of you at the Shake Out Run very, very soon uh, at Charlton. Anything else to say, Sarah? No, I think that's everything. That is it. So that's it guys, hope you're well. And uh, yeah, we'll leave you with a shot of the gherkin. Lots of love guys, keep on working hard, keep on getting it done, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>